Hey man, good morning. Well, this is my hotel room. Getting ready to go up Palomar again. Yes. Go anywhere, I believe I can. Get it? All right, so we're gonna go right in today. I gotta get my uh, my stuff ready. I have all my protein powders in here ready for my electrolytes and I've got water over here. So let's go ride. Um, we're gonna go park in the Harris parking lot. Probably shouldn't, but I know everybody does and I'm going to as well. So we're gonna go do it and uh, stuff's underneath. I'm ready to ride, man. Like, let's go. And it just doesn't get any more intense than that. That's an amazing start. I'm about uh, 20 minutes later than I wanted to leave. It is hot. Actually, what's funny is, is temps only show like, uh, temps only show about 70 degrees. 9%, nice and steady. It's gone between seven to 9% through here. This is the base, but it's humid. And the forecast, uh, local weather shows thunder showers or thunderstorms with possible lightning. So. Based on the humidity, since this mountain isn't going anywhere, based on the humidity, I'm probably gonna go halfway. Ride back down and call it done. Plus I'm gonna guess that the observatory is probably still closed as well. And I want a selfie. That just gives me an excuse to come back now, doesn't it? The sky, wow. And it looked cloudy and cool. The reality is, it's gone up 10 degrees since I started riding. It's about 78 degrees right now and humid. So it is warming up, but it looks nice and it's a beautiful ride. Just so you know, I do turn quite a bit on some of these things when I see a view like that. I go back down and I come back up to get it. The worst thing I've discovered about this climb is all the flies. Man, there are so many. And keeping this face wrap up around my face, my mouth and nose, keeps them out of my face. At least out of my nose and my mouth. All right, still on the south grade road and it's just amazing.
See how long I can stand it without this down. This is a quick side note just for the view. I'll catch all of this with the chest camera on the way down. Here comes a truck, so I'm heading up as well, going that way. do something I normally don't do. I you can see all the flies around me. They are unbelievable. Swatting them. Move my hand, I usually get about two or three of them. I'm done. They are terrible. So I don't normally turn and go down. Top is up there that I was gonna go to. But I'm gonna turn and go down and get away from these guys. I can't stand it. Plus now, it's almost 90 degrees. I'm 12 miles up, with 3,642 feet of climbing. So, I'm turning to go down. Chest camera on. away from those flies and that's a good thing that car that pulled out in front of me they obviously weren't looking had I been a large truck they'd have been gone that's just unbelievable man so you always have to pay attention all right I'm gonna finish this descent it's beautiful out there it really is
And I've got the camera. I love this view too, and I haven't used it in a long time, but it's the chain stay view looking back of that tire as you go around the corner. So we're going to check out some of that too, going this way. about that Johnny Pink it does say that today and I want to say thanks for watching I do appreciate it that was a, a bit of descending I cannot believe how bad those flies were I would just I would spot like this and get two or three of them at one time and be able to catch them which that's pretty crazy next time I'll have bug spray on or I'll go when it's colder well I didn't even get up halfway today but I got 12 miles up total of 24 that last that descent is a lot of fun man let's see so a total of 3,683 feet, according to this, it will correct uh, once you load it up on Strava. So thanks a lot, man, I appreciate it. Johnny Pink, hit the subscribe button, that's really cool, it helps out my channel. Uh, leave me a comment, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys out on the road. If you wanna climb this with me, let me know, man, because I'm gonna come back. I'll talk to you guys later. Cue the logo. <laughs>